Well, the highly anticipated midterm budget speech will be delivered this coming afternoon and budget cuts are expected due to a major revenue shortfall. But the finance minister will have to do quite a thorough and careful juggling act here with elections just around the corner. Our reporter, ENC, senior reporter, Aviu Mdila, joins us now ahead of the speech this morning. And Aviu, a very warm good morning to you. I think let's talk about the expectations uh, from the finance minister come this uh, afternoon. Good morning, Dumelo. We got a glimpse of them uh, at the Drakensberg, the inclusive uh, growth forum over the weekend where the finance minister was delivering the keynote address. You can expect uh, cuts to expenditure as well as a bit of going cap in hand, uh, borrowing as we do understand that government expenditure has exceeded revenue by 200 billion rand already. But what does this mean for small businesses? Uh, we're just talking to them now, finding out how difficult it is and what they're expecting from the finance minister. In fact, uh, earlier on in the year and the budget. I was speaking to Babu Sipo Kanyele, uh, who does acrylic furniture, and he seems to suggest things have been a bit tougher. He's now moved from that original workshop that he worked to, uh, and now working at a, a smaller workshop, uh, and also we do understand there may be job cuts uh, from his personal side, who has been in business for at least 10 years. Babu Kanyele, thank you for joining us at ENCA. You've moved to now this uh, seemingly smaller workshop. How tough has it been since we last spoke? What are the challenges? Well, the challenges that we faced was the downfall of businesses whereby people, with, especially with the luxury furniture, they are not affording to, to buy, of which you ended up not having enough orders, which caused us not to be able to produce enough product so that we can be able to pay for our ways, of which we even ended up, while deciding to move from the previous premises that we worked before, to a much smaller and cheaper premise that we are in now, and also which has resulted on the losing some of the staff members because we didn't have enough work to give them so that also for us to, to operate. Then they ended up leaving well, from, our, from our work, well, especially in the product that we, we manufacture, to other products, to other factories which manufactures maybe the products that are still being able to be served to other customers that they can be able to, to, to manage, to, to buy, of which our product is quite expensive, as I've mentioned earlier. It's a luxury product which is very, very expensive. People are not affording to buy, which I believe is through the cost of interest rates, which has increased. Okay, so the interest rates, uh, fuel among other, other things that have gone up, have led to people not being able to afford your acrylic furniture. That is, means you have, you've had to size down and also size down on the jobs as well. If things carry on as they are, Babu Kanyele, do you have a plan B? Do you have measures in place maybe to save the jobs that are still here at least? Well, we have tried with all our effort to save the job up until now to show that well, we have been prepared to come up with some solution in order to be able to survive in the business. But if it gets worse, we will never know what's going to happen because if we cannot be able to pay, especially the premises that we work in, doesn't belong to us, we are renting. If you fail to pay the rent at the end of the month, then you get a notice and you get kicked out. Then from there, it means the end of the business there because there is nowhere we cannot produce this product somewhere else except in a premises like this. You can't work at home. We've got bigger machinery and which wouldn't be able to operate at home. Mm. And it's the midterm budget now, Babu Kanyele. What are you hoping to hear from the finance minister, especially for uh, the small businesses? Well, it's uh, something that had been, we had been thinking, we had been uh, requesting from uh, people like them to be able to finance us so that we can be able to survive, especially on the situations like this that we are facing, whereby you end up not knowing the next day what you're going to be doing. It's not only us, because we also rely on customers. If customers are not able to afford this product, then it means we are out of business because we've got nothing to do. You can't be in business if you cannot be able to produce the product that you have planned to open the business and start producing.
Mm. Okay, Baba Kadina, thank you very much. Uh, eagerly anticipating the midterm budget at 2 o'clock is Babu Sipo Kanyele, who's already felt it uh, hit hard uh, just by the economy and the situation that the country faces. He's had to move down, um, scale down. The workshop itself also scaled down on the number of workers that he has in order, in order to survive. He's tried by all means, he's telling me, that not to have job cuts, but uh, his hand has been forced. No other option now as he sells acrylic furniture. It is catering uh, for your up market. He's saying that people can't even afford that now. They're buying the, the minimum. They're getting their needs, and your luxury items are no longer uh, on top of some of the people that would normally go out and buy those items. So he's asking for at least some assistance from the finance minister uh, when it comes to two o'clock and helping uh, the dire situation. But we heard, of course, over the weekend that we can expect some budget cuts. We can also expend uh, the government to go cap in hand and borrow as already it's exceeded revenue by 200 billion rand. And of course, as mentioned before, it seems the finance minister will have to do a quite a bit there of juggling act as we were given that elections are also around the corner. We anticipate what that would look like come this afternoon. We'll be